film for Veterans Day and one for Christmas are on area screens this week. Here to review Midway and Last Christmas are film critics Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Powell. Hey guys, welcome hey. back. Thanks. I understand we're starting with, with Midway today. Yes. Yeah, let's start with a visual, visual epic Midway from Roland Emmerich of Independence Day fame and you can tell that the Independence Day and the other disaster films he's made in the past 2012 and others it's kind of like a warm-up from Midway and here you see the visuals that he has at play here most of it computer generated it and most of it pretty darn spectacular uh, the movie starts with Pearl Harbor and it is nothing more than just a thumbnail sketch of the first year of the war World War II in the Pacific uh, we start with Pearl Harbor as I say then we go into Doolittle's raid on Tokyo uh, and leading up to the Battle of Midway and what's one of the most interesting things about the film is how concise it is in explaining everything that has led up to this situation uh, there we see Patrick Wilson there as Edward Layton he is the intelligence officer that's figuring out what the Japanese are up to you'll also see um, uh, Woody right. Harrelson Woody Harrelson is in there as uh, General uh, Commander Nimitz Ed Screen as Richard Best one of the great pilots uh, that uh, participated in the battle as well as Nick Jonas and Dennis Quaid I thought that, that was I thought that was the Jonas Brothers <laughs> too yeah. he's incredible in this what's really? interesting yeah. is is that every character you see is based on a real person uh, there are no fabrications there are no combinations of characters as you often see in historical epics and we see them at the end as well as the credits are starting the role we see the real person next to the act we find out what they did uh, in the battle what happened to them afterwards this is visually really really dynamic but also it really has a lot of heart I mean it really stops and pays attention and gives a very very sincere tribute to these men great history lesson exciting I have to say I was genuinely surprised by this movie and perfect for veterans it, Day really is. it really is it really pays homage to all these brave heroes during World War two and the fact that they are actual people that participated in this epic epic term turn of events is incredible so highly recommend going to see that mm -hmm. there is something okay. to be said for having every Everybody be legit. So exactly. Yeah. Cool that yeah. they have Lends that way. credence yeah. to the whole thing. Okay, right. one I'm, I'm not sure you're here fans of last Christmas. Why? Why would you say that? I think it looks cheesy, my son. <laughs> you think it looks I cheesy? I do. I do. I don't think wow. they look like they would be a good pair Chemistry? together. Yeah, it's funny that you say that. Go, Pam. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got Last Christmas, and it stars Amelia Clark, who you're going to know from Game of Thrones. Um, this is co-written by Emma Thompson, who is an extraordinary actress, and she's actually in this film as well. Um, Amelia stars as Kate, who is down on her luck. She is stubborn and selfish. There's a reason she's down on her luck. Last Christmas, she was facing some some illnesses that was that were life-threatening. Oh. She's now working in a Santa shop with Santa, played by Michelle Yao. Oh. Michelle is fantastic in this film. In fact, she carries it through the center where it becomes a little bit on the sluggish side. This is not your typical romantic comedy. In fact, I really enjoyed most of this. In fact, at the end, the rug got pulled out from under me, that emotional rug, and I did have tears coming down. Really? Okay, you've got to be in the right mood for this film. Yeah. It, it is not Nicholas Was Sparks, it low blood Nicholas? sugars? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening no. Chuck, there? Chuck, wait, can I get my stethoscope out? Because there's no art in there. Oh, no, it's like a pee, remember? I'm that guy, yeah. You're right, there is no chemistry between these two I just don't think they look like they... All. They don't go together yeah. at all. And I don't mind crying, I don't mind being manipulated, but do it a little bit more subtly. So this isn't going to be one of those go-to Christmas movies every year, never like, oh, have to watch no. it. Is, it is not. It's a wonderful life. It Apparently never might not even be a go-to movie no. this Christmas. No. There's a reason it's called <laughs> Last Christmas. They just left <laughs> off a word. Okay. That's have a stuff shame. to give away. Yes. Yeah, talk about We've got talk some about stuff. stuff to talk about. <laughs> What's What's stuff? <laughs> we have a great giveaway from Dr. Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining, Stephen King's book. And we have two major uh, prize winners with all of this stuff that you see here, including two tickets to go see Dr. Sleep. And those winners are... <laughs> Are. Let me get my list out here. Jennifer Pollock and Linda Luchka. Congrats. So you get all of this stuff. We will send it out to you. And we got 10 winners of two tickets also. Chuck, thank you for Maybe you can model that for us later. Vanna. He's no Vanna, Vanna White, but uh, he'll do in a pinch. Thanks, everybody, for participating yes. in this contest. You might need that eye uh, patch there for uh, last Christmas, it sounds like. Have a seat. Wow. Put it on. Good nap in. All right. Definitely head to TV to connect with Real Talk with Chuck and Pam, the website, and then give them a like on Facebook. Look at all these winners we're scrolling through here. Ten extra winners. Like yes. Santa. Congrats <laughs> to all of you. Hey,